Hello, happy Monday morning. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's now impossible to go to trade shows uh, on location, on site. Indeed, uh, the business has to be done with wholesale buyers. It has to be done online. It has to be done through the phone. It has to be done by emails or going to online platforms because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what does this mean? for creative entrepreneurs and creative businesses like uh, your businesses? Well, it means that you have to actually maximize your options on how to advertise online. Um, and um, you also have to make sure that you are going to all these um, online trade shows, which allow you to speak to your wholesale customers and you need to put a uh, business to consumer strategy to target your retail consumers. So that implies that you have to become way more savvy in terms of using your digital assets, be it your website, which, is to, which needs to be top notch in terms of speed, um, user friendly uh, tools and also um, uh, having an e-commerce facility where your products, uh, uh, wares or services can be bought easily by, cons by, by, by customers. You also need to use your social media tools as much as you, you can and have a proper SEO strategy in place whereby almost every day, like we are doing at our law firm Krefovi, we are posting some content um, uh, information packed content, useful content for our targets and our clients and our prospects uh, and, and, uh, and uh, we are therefore doing this on all uh, uh, the usual suspects, be it Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn, but also on uh, our um, podcast platforms where we syndicate all our uh, content, uh, uh, audio content. And also something that is very important as part of your um, SEO strategy is that your website needs to be full, uh, customized and uh, really worked on in order to have a perfect on-site SEO. So, 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 so search engine optimization. So you need to uh, really do a lot of work here by installing some SEO plugins like um, Yoast, uh, the Yoast uh, SEO plugin in order to make sure that you've uh, uh, boosted your page and you've amended your, your web pages and your uh, post blog, uh, blog post so that they will come up at the top of the rankings whenever some keywords which are mentioned in those pages and blog posts are being typed by um, internet users. So your search engine optimization strategy, SEO strategy, should always be white hat strategy, not black hat, which is prohibited by Google and you would be actually uh, be penalized by Google by large uh, search engines like Google if you use a black hat SEO strategy. So it needs to be white hat. What does that mean? It means that you have to play, play, uh, play fair and, um, and uh, for example, you shouldn't buy any links on uh, uh, link farms. Uh, you shouldn't do um, also some uh, um, uh, followers buying or um, on, on Twitter or on Instagram. And um, you should basically make sure that it's all organic, that it comes, this, this increase of followers, this incre increase of uh, of uh, 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 people who put some nice comments and like comments is basically organic and really true and that you don't buy them because the search engines will find out and you may have problems by being deranked by the likes of Google uh, because you use a black hat strategy. Um, same thing if you also buy some links on, on, uh, on uh, link farms. So also from a legal standpoint, you could be in trouble and um, here I'd like to cite the, the case um, Max and Spencer versus Interflora, where Max and Spencer bought some um, uh, some um, keywords for its um, 
Google Tags, Google Ads strategy, um, and one of the keywords was Interflora, which is one of the competitors of Marks & Spencer in the flower business. Uh, Marks & Spencer does sell flowers, yes. And so one of its competitors is Interflora, and uh, as, as part of its uh, um, SEO strategy, Marks & Spencer had bought the, um, the keyword Interflora. And so whenever you were typing as a, as a, as a user, uh, into flora, flowers, what would come up first as a, as a Google ad would be Marks & Spencer site in relation to buying flowers. So um, into flora didn't uh, at all appreciate this as a kind of strategy, which I think could be definitely defined as black hat stra SEO strategy, and actually filed a trademark infringement um, uh, litigation case with the UK courts. And then the UK courts um, stayed these proceedings and asked the European Court of Justice to take a decision on this as to whether there was trademark infringement, to which the ECJ, the European Court of Justice, said yes, there is some trademark infringement if you buy as a keyword um, for your Google, Google ad uh, strategy the trademark of a competitor. So Marks and Spencer was actually, you know, sentenced to paying some damages to into Flora for trademark infringement. So be mindful of the fact that um, the internet is not the far west. Uh, there are some rules that we need to follow, but it is an extremely, extremely great opportunity that needs to be tapped into and needs to be leveraged in these difficult times where we basically can't go to trade shows. We, even a lot of shops are retail shops are closed, so um, you must uh, improve and um, and develop and be, make very very effective your online strategy on your website as well as on, on your digital um, assets such as your social media sites um, and also your domain names. So this is the last bit I wanted to talk to you about today. In terms of domain names, it's important to have a portfolio of domain names which is strong. So for example, our law firm Crefovi has two websites, one in English, in an English language, which is crefovi.com, and another website which is in French, which is a mirror site of uh, crefovi.com, except that it's in French, um, and it's crefovi.fr, fr stands for France. So of course we uh, own, uh, we've licensed those two websites, those two domain names, sorry, crefavi.com and crefavi.fr. But we also have a strong portfolio of other domain names that we buy and uh, we renew the license of every year, such as crefavi.cn for China, um, crefavi.hk for Hong Kong, uh, crefavi.eu um, um, for the whole European Union, uh, crefavi.us, um, etc., etc. And it's very important for you guys to do the same, to also have a strong portfolio of uh, domain names, because then, as long as you have a license on those, uh, on those domain names, then nobody else can actually, um, no troll can actually buy, purchase those domain names and then, you know, attempt to, um, to force you into uh, paying some outrageous sums of money to buy back the domain name which sadly is a, 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 something that can happen with domain name trolls. So once you have the domain names, once you've got this strong portfolio of domain names, what you can do, because you don't want to park them for nothing, you know, you just um, uh, have a redirect link of these secondary domain names, such as, for example, crefovi.cn for China, you have a, a redirect link to your main uh, website, which for in our case is crefovi.com. So if one clicks on crefovi.cn for crefovi.cn for China, then he or she will be redirected to crefovi.com, our main website in English. So these are really important strategies to put in place now. The future is bright and uh, it's time to size this opportunity of uh, the online presence and online marketing and online sales. Bye for now.